Okay, what you see before you is a Freed Eisman NR6, a Neutrodyne from the 1920s. Uh, I've been working on this one for a couple of days and finally brought a little life back into the old girl. Uh, it's already warmed up, so it's ready to play. Um, and it is attached to a Magnavox R3 speaker. And the yellow thing you see back there is it's a flashlight. Uh, this thing needs an A supply, so it's getting six volts from the flashlight. And powering the NR7, if you look back here, what you see is an ARB3 power supply, antique radio battery eliminator power supply. Wonderful device, works very well. I don't know if looking down into the chassis here you can actually see the tubes glow. Uh, a lot of light coming through the windows, but as I said, uh, it's all fired up and ready to go. Let's just turn up the volume. The audio is not perfect. Again, I've only done a partial restore on the chassis. I still may have a bad tube, but not sure. I haven't replaced the um, bypass capacitors. Bought this for about $50 on eBay. And it was in really good shape. Here, I don't know if I can focus in, but that is the original station log from the original owners. I know that's not completely legible, but it's a good old radio. It works rather well considering. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you rescue and restore old radios. 73's from KA4PNO in Knoxville, Tennessee.